Today's programme is all about control. So, what's that got to do with puppets? <laughs> well, if you've ever tried to put on a puppet show, you'll know that puppets, just like actors, need a stage on which to perform. And that stage, just like a real one, will need some lights and maybe a curtain. Now, those lights and the curtain will need to be controlled in some way, and that's today's problem. How, when you've got your hands full of puppets, <laughs> do you operate the lights and work the curtain? Maybe you could use a school computer to help solve the problem. To get some first-hand experience about the problem, the children of Moss Hall Junior School started their research with a visit to a puppet show. And where could be better than the puppet barge moored on Regent's Canal in London? <laughs> <laughs> the show is expertly run by Gren and Juliet Middleton. Not only do they work the puppets, but they operate the curtain and work the lights and all the stage effects at the same time. It's quite a skill. At times it seems as if they have three hands each. <laughs> As soon as the show finished, the children were keen to investigate backstage. It's a bit of a squeeze. This is a counterbalance weight for the curtain, the front curtain. If I pull it down like that, the whole front curtain is going to go up at the front and be raised in the same way. Up goes the heavy weight and down comes the curtain at the front. So it's a counterbalanced weight for the front curtain. That's just one way to work a curtain. Can you think of any others? How do the lights work? Well, up here we have a lighting board which controls each lamp head. And we can change the pattern by altering the dimmers like that and then continue with the act at the same time. Finish that part of the act and come back to the original lighting you had and then there we go. Even while that is turning, we can change the lighting. At either side of this stage, there are three lights. If you were building a puppet theatre, where would you put the lights? A few experiments might help. And as well as the lighting, there are the stage effects and the curtain to think about. Which brings us back to our problem. How would you use your school computer to control the lights and work the curtain for a puppet theatre? Mind you, controlling the puppets themselves is another matter altogether. <laughs> 